Hey folks, it's another day, another unboxing. And what I've got here is pretty cool. This is the Nubia Z20. This is a dual display phone. It's got a front display. If you flip it over, you've got a display on the back. So because of that, it doesn't have a selfie camera since you can use the rear camera for, uh, you know, for the selfies because of the rear display. So cool stuff like that. And it's pretty highly specced. And in China, in most markets, it's about $520 US, so pretty cool. Uh, so let's have a look at it. This is the box, as you can see, there's a Z20 on this side. Not too much here, Z20 on the bottom, Nubia, and a German Design Award, Gold 2020. I'm not gonna show you the back because there's eye maze, but uh, you get the idea. There's not too much back there anyway. So dun da da dun da 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 Nothing here. Next up, we have a uh, little divider action with, aha, SIM removal tool and, oh, one of those TPU cases a lot of uh, Chinese phones come with. Uh, you can see this is a, a nice one, uh, custom made, and of course, these don't tend to yellow or brown. I like them because of that. So you got some protection, uh, and then there's a little manual action here. Let's see, a warranty card and a manual uh, with some illustrations. Um, this is definitely less glossy and fancy than some things. It looks like the SIM card only takes dual SIM, no micro SD here. So there you go. All right, that's it for this divider. Let's check out the phone. I'm gonna just pull it out and put it on its side. And then we're gonna be having a look at the rest of the box. So you got another little box here that I presume has all the charging cables and all that good stuff. Here is a charging brick. This, I don't know what capacity it is. I'm gonna leave it up so you can see it's probably like an 18 watt charger. I don't have the specs in front of me. USB type A. So then let's have a look at the rest real quick. I got one cable, that's USB. And ah, another cable in here. That's the headphone adapter. So this is USB type A to type C. It's black and red, very nice. Uh, add a little nice touch to things. And then there's a Headphone jack adapter, so USB Type-C on one end. Headphones on the other, that tells me that this does not have a headphone jack. No earbuds in the box though, so that's it for the box. Let's have a look at the phone, shall we? Here it is. Let's see if I can slide it out easily and see if there's anything in the back. So this is the front, as you can see, can't tell too much from that. And this is the back, and as you can see, you really wouldn't know there's a display on here. Uh, you have three cameras in the back. There's actually some uh, labels to peel off, but I don't want to do that just yet. Three cameras in the back. The main sensor, which I presume is the middle one, is a 48 megapixel sensor. Not sure if this is Samsung or Sony sensor. It's one of those quad by or pixel binning sensors with 0.8 micron pixels that bin down to 12 megapixels, uh, 1.6 micron. And there's an eight megapixel telephoto lens and a 16 megapixel ultra wide. Um, the, I'm not sure if the telephoto has OIS. The main lens does have OIS. The f-stop on the main lens is f1.7 and I don't really know anything about the other f-stops. There's also appears to be two flashes, one on each side. This is interesting. They look identical, so I'm not quite sure why there's two, but uh, probably for selfies. Yeah, so let's walk you around the edges. On top here you have what is clearly a secondary mic and some antenna bands. On the left side here you have the SIM slot and a fingerprint reader with a button underneath it. You can click on it. On the bottom here is a primary microphone, USB type C and a speaker. Um, and then you have, A, it's another fingerprint reader on this side, which is also clickable and a volume rocker. I wonder if you can unlock from either side. That way, if you hold it like this, you can still use your thumb to unlock uh, that's interesting, but I wonder if both of them are power buttons or not. Um, there's definitely, as I said, a volume rock on this side. It's kind of hard to see, but it's, it's, it's right there. Uh, so that's the lay of the land. Let's turn it on, shall we? There you go. Start it right up. This is the front. Does it say anything in the back? No, it does have a Nubia logo here. Be yourself. 
introduction. Well, I have read everything. Come on. Well, that's a lot to read. So now we got that the high there screen. I'm not sure we're going to see anything on the back until I set this up. So let me go through that real quickly. So United States, start. Uh, I'm not going to connect to a mobile network. I'm not going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And I'm going to not worry about the time. Agree to the Google conditions. And I'm going to select the input. From, I'm going to actually skip the fingerprints. I'm going to skip the screen lock. And I am going to... That's fine. Whoa, that was sudden. So I still don't know how you turn on the back screen, but let me see if there is a, a way to do that from, there you go, switch screen. Don't remind, okay. And there you go. Now you can see this is kind of a goldish color because it's, you know, this finish on the back of this is kind of a mirror finish. But yeah, you get the whole interface on this smaller screen in the back here as you can see. And then if I flip again to the front, switch displays, now it's in the front. And it's a much better display as you can see immediately. So of course there's no notch here. This is a 6.4 inch roughly uh, 1080p AMOLED display as far as I know. It's almost full screen. You got a tiny little uh, chin and forehead, uh, but mostly goes uh, straight to the edge. It's also one of those waterfall displays that curves on the edges and in the back we have uh, let me switch again we have a 5.1 inch uh, 720p display also amoled so yeah let's see how if we can make it brighter at all well, that's the back it's kind of yeah it's got a weird shade of yellow wonder if that's just the reflection coating on it or what it's very interesting. So this is obviously how you would take a selfie, right? You'd go like this, and as you can see, you can take a really, really nice selfie this way. And then if you flip the, the, the thing, you can obviously uh, take a photo this way, and then you get to see the back of the phone, right? So that's kind of what uh, this is about, and this is what makes this phone really interesting. It's coming to the U.S. on October 14th. Um, don't know what the pricing is going to be, but uh, yeah, this is pretty damn cool. So that's it, folks, the Nubia Z20. Now, I didn't mention specs on this. This particular unit has 128 gigs of storage and eight gigs of RAM. There's also one with six gigs of RAM, and there's also one with 512 gigs of storage. Um, this got a Snapdragon 855 Plus. Yes, you heard that right, a Snapdragon 855 Plus. And it has um, 4,000 milliamp hour battery in here. That's a lot of battery. So that's kind of exciting. And hopefully this doesn't affect the uh, battery life too much to have two displays. Uh, it's very interesting. This is not Anubia's first two display phone. They did one before. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's the Nubia Z20. Um, pretty exciting. Uh, it's coming to the US on October 14th. I'm not sure about the pricing, so stay tuned for that. But I wanted to unbox this and show it to you, and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, please like the video, subscribe, tell your friends, comment in the comments below, hit that little notification bell. And remember, this content, this video channel is about my podcast, Mobile Tech Podcast. It's a compliment to the podcast. You should subscribe to the podcast at mobiletechpodcast.com, also on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, Pocket Cast, Overcast. I'm on all the major platforms, so please subscribe and tell your friends as well. That's it, folks. Stay tuned for more unboxing videos soon, and until then... Cheers, everybody.